Uh, for me, I'm fine keeping it specific to LinkedIn because I think we've got plenty to talk about just about LinkedIn. Yeah. I think we've come, we've kind of come to accept the fact that you're going to see that on Twitter uh, at the risk of calling out other prof other sites, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, even Snapchat, some of the others. You've kind of come to accept the fact that that happens because people mm -hmm. use those platforms for so many different reasons. But LinkedIn is supposed to be specifically professional purposes only. Mm. And some of the things I know we're going to be talking about are very much not for professional purposes. Yeah. And mm. so it, it's a little bit unique compared to what we might experience on some of the other platforms. Okay. And uh, Joe, are you happy with that? Uh, that's fine. Thank yeah. You. Because then what we can do is the whole... Uh, purpose of these um, video recordings is that brave or uh, irritated people such as yourself speak up and we publish the little clips of video one a day typically I do one I'm still publishing things from last year um, and so what I can physically do has got us to where we are so far What's going to take us to the next level is if you, because I will supply you all with 15 or 16 five minute, five minute ish clips of the conversation um, with the idea that you post it on your own network. So videos like the best way of interacting with your customers. So from your perspective, I'm hoping that you will be able to connect with your connections in a way where they go oh oh now i know what barbara is like now i know what joe thinks about things and it should help you it's like personal branding because you don't know what the questions are going to be i don't even know what the questions are going to be and i'm doing them so uh <laughs> it should be a lot of fun <laughs> um i think we should go barbara first um for her first story and then tell the story barbara and then let's uh, chip in and see what happens in the room all right so i don't know everyone just i know we're allowed to have a free form conversation here and i don't know everyone's story but barbara ann has the best story <laughs> and we all thought it was true for like how many days about two to three days and it was... we had this separate like text thing going on with a, a bunch of you know colleagues and friends so mm -hmm. um I know, this is going to be a hard one to follow every day. Okay, oh really? Oh no! Oh, I'm actually, the... gonna, I'm actually going to try to stop recreating my Zoom background because I'm jealous of Barbara Ann. I need to be able to flip my logo and I'm going to stop doing that now just so I can hear this great story. Well, yeah, this great story. What I'll do though, Joe, is I'll put it on speak of you so you can do your background and no one will know. No, I have to give her my undivided attention because this is really oh, good. You've, re you've really big this up now. Barbara Ann, are you ready for this? I am ready. Okay. <laughs> okay, so... Um... Oh gosh, it's hard to believe it's been two weeks, only two weeks, and yet seems like forever ago and seems like yesterday. So I got an email on my personal company account. So I have my company, I should reframe, I have a company, but I also still have a, a, a day job as well that I'm committed to. And that is the email that I list as part of an agreement for being dual career. I have that company's email address listed as my primary contact on LinkedIn because I also do all their social media. And so I got an email through my personal account from a gentleman claiming to be Paul Wagner. And Paul Wagner basically pours out his heart to me about how he's been, you know, basically stalking my LinkedIn profile and, um, that I have a beautiful smile and how, you know, he knows he shouldn't be breaking the rules, which is why he's, why he's reaching out to me directly instead of on the LinkedIn platform, but that he's been watching what I've been doing and um, that he doesn't know if there's a chance, but even if there is a, a potential chance that, uh, for anything, that's awesome. But if there's not, just know that someone out there was thinking that I was the most beautiful, amazing woman in the world. So that's what basically sums it up. So yes, to Joe's all point. True, all true. 